Yeah, My name is Dave Rosen, and I am an iron monkey. Hi, I'm Chris Tran, and I'm an iron monkey. Hello, my name is Quan Pemberton, and I am an iron monkey. Hello, my name is Jamie Christine, and I'm a prospective iron monkey. Hello, my name is Ben Flaster, and I'm an iron monkey. Hi, I'm Ashley Martinez, and I'm a prospective iron monkey. Hi, I'm Carla, and I'm an iron monkey. I'm Kay Morrison, and I'm an iron monkey. Hi, I'm John, and I'm prospecting for the iron monkeys. Hi, I'm Stephanie Rosen, and I'm an iron monkey. Hi, I'm Tabasco, and I'm an iron monkey. The Iron Monkeys are a blacksmithing collective based in the historic Georgetown neighborhood of Seattle. Started in 2006, we have been collaborating on public art pieces that have been placed in Black Rock City, Critical Northwest, Reno, Nevada, Seattle, and beyond. Uh, we really like to make spaces, we really like to make um, opportunities for people to mingle, meet, and gather. In 2006, their first year, they created Luma Fairs. In 2007, they built the tree spires. In 2008, they created Diablo. In 2009, the monkeys created Incunabulum, our first propane fire piece. In 2010, the monkeys brought the crossroads to the playa. In 2011, the monkeys brought the Garden of Monkey Retrospectus to Burning Man. On the seventh year, the monkeys rested from all the work that they had made. Then in 2013, they created the Guardian of Dawn. The Agora of Light is a gathering space. Uh, it's the next installment in our mythology of the Guardian of Dawn, which is a mythology about being afraid of the dark and curious about the dark in this year's case. Um, this year, the acolytes who last year were protected by the light of the Guardian here have gone out on their own. They've, they've become curious about the darkness rather than just afraid. So they're out on their epic journey trying to find their own light to enlighten themselves about what's important um, in the darkness. But as part of that, they recreate some of their home, which is this warm, fiery gathering space that invites people in. They are a beacon in the night, trying to signal other people who are holding up a beacon in the night. And what happens is all these people come to their warm, space uh, in the evenings and start to share stories, talk about their travels, why are they out in the darkness. And through those stories, the acolytes are beginning to understand themselves. They're defining some values that are important to them and uh, really are becoming their own literal and metaphorical light. The Agora of Light is a 60 foot wide courtyard. It's comprised of really four big parts. Um, the first part is the definition of the space. So the outside of the circle is defined by two sets, uh, sorry, three sets of two columns that make the entryways into the space. Uh, it is also defined by curved benches, three sets of curved benches along the outside that help give it its circular form. Uh, and standing next to those benches are acolytes that will be illuminated from the inside with LED lights. The next big component is seating. Uh, we felt after the Guardian of Dawn last year that that piece really lacked enough places to sit. So this year we're incorporating amphitheater pull-out benches, uh, three sets of them that will really provide a lot of places to sit down and relax. The next component um, is the interior center pavilion. We're building a 36 foot wide sort of organic shaped uh, central pavilion that will provide shade during the day and fire at night and a place for people to gather and get to know each other. And uh, then the last piece is something that we just can't go without, uh, interactive fire sculpture. So we will, we're building some new Zen gardens this year that will be placed in three locations inside of the Agora to uh, allow you to play with fire. All right, now this is the part where we ask you for your help. We figure this project is gonna cost us somewhere in the ballpark of $22,000 to pull off. That's 
several thousand dollars worth of propane to keep the project lit and you warm. That's thousands of dollars worth of steel, welding wire, and propane fittings to make this project work. Now, the good news is we figure we've got about $12,000 of that covered already. Here's where you come in. We need to raise another $10,000 to make this work. So please look at the donation levels, find a level that works for you and donate. In exchange, we've got some amazing Iron Monkeys gifts handmade by us, as well as t-shirts and hoodies. Now, if you need to know more, please go to our Facebook or check out our website. I thank you and the Iron Monkeys thank you.